warning. I do cuss on this channel. And I mean, I motherfucking cuss. And sometimes, I even drink. But, the regions are always good. La, 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 la. Welcome back to the page, friends. It's Lita. Welcome to Lita Manti. And we're going to do um, a reading today. Okay. I apologize for missing Love Day, but me and Venus, we had other business going on. And I've been a little drained. I'm certain many of you have been drained too. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put these up here. I wonder if they'll stay. They won't. Okay. Never mind all of that. I get carried away sometimes. First of all, I want to say thanks to everyone that has subscribed recently. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, y'all already know what the next question is. Why the fuck not? It's free. Go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so today's reading is going to be, uh, do they think of you as more than just a friend? Okay, this, um reading is inspired by my bestie not because we're more than just friends okay before anyone uh gets the wrong idea um but my bestie is a music um producer rapper singer okay and um he's allowed me to use uh some new music as my intro music you'll hear it playing in the background today during this whole reading i will be um adding uh new intros featuring this music at any rate the song is called uh best friends okay and it, and it is it's about um a guy and a girl that are best friends and it, it happens to be a little bit more than friends and that inspired me to do the reading i was like i'm certain there are a lot of people that are in a position that want to know does their bestie think of them as more than just a friend okay um you can see all the decks i'll be using today uh, i haven't quite figured out how am i going to use them the point is is they will be used um i think i'm going to actually record while i set out the groups and um so i'll speed this part up i just want you all to know that yeah i'm kind of winging it but sometimes it gives us the best reads okay um maybe i'm gonna stop and set up a different setup Hold on. all right this is gonna be a little bit better oh, let me figure out how am i gonna do this all right let me start shuffling and i'll meet you on the other side Started bakery and next to is off the way she's taking me. Now sometimes we get lost in the sauce though. I never fell in sleep, love like this before. And it's much more deeper than the physical. It's then near spiritual. Whenever I'm next to you, I love sweet like Skittles. Alright, <clears throat> so here's our groups. Alright, group one is going to be Pomelo Sunrise. Group two is going to be Water Bamboo Freesia. Um, this is from Chorus. Guys, this shit right here is it for the spring and summer. Okay. Um, so sweet. Lolita Lipico. Hey, and number four is Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. Smells good, but I leave that out for my daughters so they don't mess with my shit. 
Okay, so you have a moment to pick your group. I want you to think about your friend. I know I never do this, but today I want you to think about your bestie before you choose, okay? I want you to think about good times with your bestie only. Good times only. Or your best memories, your favorite memories. And once you have one locked in your brain, then pick your group, okay? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. If you like um, letters A, B, C, and D. All right. And I think I'm gonna slide these across. I need my um, I need my little wand. I know I pulled it out too, cause I don't want to read with the big wand. Hmm. I don't know what I did with the wand, guys. All right, guess what, guys? It was in my car. Nap doesn't want to light up. It was lighting up all morning. There we go, but it's barely lighting up. Can y'all see it? Oh, I don't know. Well, we're gonna use it anyway. So, let's just get in. Um, um, today is not cooperating, guys. I'll just use it without its light. Okay, group one or group A or group Pamela. Let's start, we'll start off with um, the energy between you and your friend. Okay, so we have holding together, which is water above and earth below. It's basically like there are emotions sitting on top of a solid foundation, okay? Um, definitely you two are inseparable. I have you as the twins here, the little twin stars. The next two cards are how your person sees you. Light and dark. So we'll get into that. Um, I have three cards here to kind of tell me what are they feeling about you. A couple of tarot. Okay. Although, it seems like I asked you all to focus on good times only. Group 1 has recently had some sort of ending um, within their friendship. Safe to say that. So, I know when I first started off with holding together, I know you were like, oh, shit, we're going through some shit. She's talking about we holding together. Okay, I see it further. But I think the point uh, um, that the cards are making is, is that even though there may be some issues going on between you two uh, the bond is holding together that's what the cards are trying I'm sorry I cut in front of y'all but I, I'm gonna try some new batteries and see if that doesn't help my wand but um it seems like you two are just holding on together there we go. now that's what a wand is supposed to look like all right so first of all let me tell you what your partner or your friend your bestie feels about you so they see you as a Samaritan okay on the light side of that um you help people that maybe sometimes you don't feel like helping okay um it, it's just that it's the right thing to do you're a it's the right time thing to do type of person okay um on the dark side though it's like um you make sure people realize what you've done for them uh you know that whole personality trait of um people sometimes feel like if you you do nice things for them but you throw it in their face okay the, on the dark side they may see you that way and they may not okay but usually each quality that we have uh has a, a light side and a dark side to it okay and it's important that we start acknowledging the not so nice sides of ourselves okay also your friend um enjoys talking with you you tell the best damn stories okay um and they learn through your stories they are entertained through your stories and it's just all out fucking fun okay the um dark side of this trait though is is sometimes you make up stories that actually hurt other people um because it's the storyteller card though and because it's um in a green 
background it kind of makes me feel like you don't mean any harm like I said I think you have the storyteller personality which is usually good but sometimes you could gossip a bit is, is what I'm getting from your friend so here here's what the issue is it feels like to me um, the male in this situation if there's a male or the person that has more masculine energy actually uh, decided to move forward with the news of how they really feel um, and either they aborted mission <laughs> okay or they told you and this didn't go anywhere um, Okay, as I'm looking at these other cards, I think I know what's going on. I think they told you and I think you just kind of ignored it. And I think it's because there was someone else involved in the situation. Maybe your bestie had someone that they're with. Maybe you all are not actually in a separation. Maybe you all are held tight together. Uh, but maybe your person was connected to someone else. And recently there's been a divorce, a separation, something like that. Okay, that situation is dead. Once that situation died, we have two cards here. We have living large and we have um, silver lining. Uh, and the silver lining card is about things that look not promising. And then all of a sudden you realize there's a whole nother side to this story that you didn't realize. And things um, turn in your favor. Um... I, I kind of feel like that's compounded by the living large card. The living large card is when all of a sudden everything turns your way. So I believe that all of a sudden you may see a change in this relationship between you and your friend. I'm also inclined to believe that maybe you, like your friend, is more than just a friend. Um, but I think because you two are friends, I think it is very important to you not to get caught up. In um, a situation that could ruin your friendship. Them uh, being with someone else can definitely kill the uh, friendship. Uh, but the Living Large card also says whatever happens next is your call. Okay, you could do whatever you want to do in the situation. And I believe that the friendship will still stand. Right? But... I do believe that they have somewhat showed you how they felt or they somewhat told you how they felt and it may have caused a little bit of friction between you two. But what I want to tell you is, is that the friendship between the two of you is all right. Everything is going to be all right in this situation, okay? Um, I'm trying to get some of this glow off the cards. Sorry. Uh... So group one, does your friend like you as more than just a friend? It looks like it. But it's not super romantic either, if that makes sense. It's like, it's like they see the possibilities, but they're not sure if that's something you would want to do. Um, and maybe, even they're not sure if it's something that they would want to do. But something has definitely changed between you two. So we could also be in a period where things are just changing and it's coming in. If if the other party hasn't told you yet, it does kind of look like they will be telling you soon. So we're going to say yes. Group one, we're going to say yes. But. This may not move past the friendship stage. Um, but I feel like whatever you want it to be, that's what it's going to be. So that's a plus. So if you want it to be more than that, it looks like it will be moving to be more than that. If you want it just to stay as a friendship and you don't want to lose any of um, the momentum or the bond between the two of you, it looks like that's what it's going to be too. Okay, so number one is not quite a clear cut answer, but it should be clear enough for you to understand what's going on and feel like your question got answered. Okay, so if you enjoyed that reading group one, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below good and or bad. And we're going to move right on into group two. 
So hello group two. As you all can tell, I have been trying some different layouts recently, uh, which actually aren't layouts, just, um, you know, a hodgepodge of cards. Let's get into it. Group two, uh, do they see you as more than a friend? This is the energy between the two of you right now. We have endurance. We have thunder above and wind below. So um, as a friendship, you two may be in the middle of storms, okay? Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that your friendship is stormy. It could just mean that life is stormy for either one of you or both of you, okay? Um, and that's just the energy. It just seems like um, maybe you two have been separated for a while, especially with the coronavirus situation going on. And maybe you two are just both really holding on to the friendship right now, okay? But um, we're going to get into what does your person think about you. And we have a saboteur. Let me show you this. And we have gossip. This one. Gossip. Okay. With these two cards at the top, it looks like your friend feels like you're extremely talented. You're extremely gifted. You have so many great qualities. Um, they feel like you could be doing so much better in life, but you fear it. It's like you don't allow yourself to dream because you fear that things will go wrong okay um on the dark side of things they feel like you have self-sabotaging behaviors um that people actually uh come through to help you and um you you get rid of them because you don't trust that they're really there to help you um the second card we have is gossip okay um it could be that the two of you gossip a lot together and they trust that you wouldn't reveal what they're telling to you it also could be that they feel like everything they tell you you tell someone else so they can't trust you okay um this is listen this person really has the hots for you and this is the hey i see the problem off top this person does really like you uh two things though they they definitely are looking at your love life and feel like uh you have a tendency to fuck up your own relationships like you get in your own way and also um you talk too much you you tell too much of what's going on and this person may be very private and they don't want anyone else to know what's going on in their relationships this is compounded by the ace of cups i told y'all they had the um hots for you and um the five of swords which is like uh this is self-sabotaging too this is like people doing shit just to do it just to show off that they can win but it makes them look bad in the end the three cards that we got up here was the dog the birds and the heart and i didn't really um explain what was going on in this feeling right here but i need to explain okay so the dog um has to do with loyalty okay so your friend actually feels so loyal to you the birds says that you have the best conversations you have a good connection it's um it's chatty it's sweet and then we have the heart so there are definitely deep feelings involved these two usually have to do with conversations about hooking up or conversations about love so i feel like it has been dropped in the air between you two um, I actually kind of feel like it's been dropped by you. Uh, it seems to me as if like this person looks at you like a close friend. But damn, you hot though. You're hot. Okay, you're banging. And they're just trying to hold on to you as a friend. Okay, but the conversations are constantly wandering into a romantic area. And yo, they got the hots for you, period. And, and also... Because y'all are friends, this gossip card here and this five of swords card here also tells me that 
uh, in the past you have said things about people that are competing for your love and that is something that is holding them back from you as well okay and I mean why wouldn't you if this is your friend and you needed to talk and you needed to uh, you know get things off of your mind I mean who else would you tell and it, this is where it becomes complex of dating friends okay they like you, but they're not sure if they want to test that, okay? Um, the next card we have is the Abracadabra card, okay? Um, this card is about, you can have whatever it is you want right now. As long as you clearly request it from the universe. I mean, like, this is time for you to write a petition. Um, there have been other times I talked about writing a petition, but let's talk about one very quickly. It's as simple as taking a piece of paper down, writing down um, what you want exactly. And, if, and in this case, we're talking about a person, you, you're going to want to write their name. You're going to want to write um, what you have. Um, and then you're going to want to write about what you want to have, but you're going to write about it as if you have that too already, okay? And let the universe know that you are really ready for this and you want to bring it into existence. Um, yeah, it's, this is a mind over matter situation with this friend, okay? Uh, the, oh, y'all got an extra card. Hold on. I think two got extra cards as I was doing it. This card is called, um, <clears throat> you okay it's saying um you're feeling a little fearful about stepping forward in this relationship but this card is saying don't be okay um there's nothing for you to fear uh, and it's time for you to say what you want to be bold about it okay luck favors the bold okay that's something that i constantly hear in my head and i pulling cards and see through my timeline anytime there's time for me to make a big step you know a bold move okay um the last card that you got which was the extra extra card is solar power uh it means that the sun is shining on you and shining on this situation in other words there is some heavy enlightenment coming between the two of you um and it seems as if like once you make your pet petition um that's gonna allow you to allow your fears to rest and then boom shit starts moving okay it's like the sun just pushes pushes it along okay sometimes just admitting things actually does uh move the situation along and in this situation there just needs to be some uh clear communication between you and you this is not clear communication between you and the other party um you don't I, it doesn't feel like you have to do that it feels like y'all are already slightly doing that it, it you just need to be clear about what you want you need to get clear in your mind what do you want and because the love is already here it can easily just move into the next phase as long as you set your intentions okay so i hope you've enjoyed this reading group too if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad let me move these to the side and let's move right on into group three okay so group three does your friend does your bestie see you as more than just a friend let's start off with the first card which is um the uh energy between the two of you so what we have is um this i mean organized discipline okay um it feels like your relationship may be in a place where the rules need to be set. The boundaries need to be set. Um, also, maybe the two of you are in a place where you're constantly correcting each other. But not just to be rude, but because um, you're trying to get gain order. Things are a little chaotic right now, okay? Uh, as far as how do they see you as a person... They see you as a teacher, all right, and a knight. So I'm going to tell you off top, yes, this person has romantic interest in you. The knight is um, totally about romance. But let's start off with the teacher, okay? 
this person feels like you have so many skills you're so fucking talented and you know how to communicate to other people to teach them how to do what you do um you inspire people all right on the dark side of things they feel like you can be a little abrasive as a teacher um also some of the things that you're teaching them they feel like could be destructive or negative um you know you you could be about getting what you want at all cost and your friend feels like that's a little manipulative and negative okay um the other thing that they think about you is is they think that you are loyal romantic okay chivalrous and honorable okay this right here lets me know that they see you as a romantic interest okay a powerful romantic interest the other thing is though they feel like what they feel for you romantically is delusional um they feel like it's just that they're so close to you that they see all the good things in you and it feels like they have a crush on you because they see all this awesomeness in you but there's no way that you see awesomeness in them too now let me see what's actually going on between the two of you we have the lily we have the bear and we have the um Listen, <clears throat> y'all are going to really love the next two cards. The Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups. I got your back and from scratch. What's going on between the two of you is, well, the first two cards tell me that you may be teaching someone, um, hobbies that make money yeah hobbies that make money well that goes along with teacher i'm sorry guys I, I i'm back in this little vape stage i had to get one in um there's something missing in, in this store i let me let me find my deck i need to there's something missing in between bear and the ark uh, this is where it comes in where I, I t would, um, talk about intuitiveness. Intuitiveness is not quite how everybody is uh, making it out to be. But intuitiveness tells you where the cards should go and when something's missing. Yeah, okay. There's our missing piece. Alright. It's safe to say that you two have probably been friends for a long time. you kind of one of you is playing a motherly role very powerful and i'm assuming it's you since they have you as the teacher but oh also oh this is a love it's it's an innocent type love it's not like sexual type love it's like passion and emotionate love and it's very strong but there is a blockage there's a blockage between the two of you. But after the blockage, things clear right up. They clear right back up. They're reborn. It's balanced. It becomes balanced. Okay, so there is some blockage between you two. But that blockage is about to clear up. These two cards. Biggest indicators. One is a... Uh, a huge romantic display and one is a little one so it seems like to me there was a romantic dis display and there was no response so they stepped it back a little bit you know uh, and this one they're fully in the water and coming out of the water and this one they're actually on the sand and the waters behind them remember guys water represents emotions but you can see how active that water is behind him okay and also you see the fish jumped out of the cup and it's trying to get back in the water uh, it kind of feels like um they don't think you're interested which we said earlier it just doesn't seem like you're interested uh, okay but they are interested in you 
Um, also, they want you to know that they have your back. They've always had your back. Because see, it says from scratch. These two actually just say a message off top. This person has been down with you from the beginning. They will always be down from you, down for you, okay? There is nothing that's going to break that between the two of you. So I don't know what you're going to do about the situation, but do they think of you as more than just a friend? Absolutely. But they do not think that you look at them the same way. Okay? So, if you enjoyed the reading group 3, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And I need to change the battery out. And I'll meet you on the other side for group 4. Alright, now let's get on into our last group which is group number four okay um the energy between the two of you is the cauldron things are getting hot baby fire above wind below this is about um people that um are together in some way in a situation and all of a sudden the heat is on but the heat is not making it bad the heat is making it good it's making it better it's making the flavors come together okay uh, this is how they see you. Group four. They see you as a mystic. Okay. Um, you have a special uh, connection with divine. With the universe. With everyone. Um, in the shadow side. There could be disbelief in your connection to the divine. Uh, I don't believe so. Because the next card is mentor. Which makes me think this is a positive uh attribute mystic okay um you're passing on wisdom to this person about your divine connections about your mysticism okay this is for uh people like us okay the crossroads the book and the tower all right listen this is what's going on between the two of you. You're teaching this person a new philosophy. It is totally breaking them down. They are not the same person anymore after um, learning the things that you're trying to teach them, okay? I'm going to do it like this so y'all can see the three cards on this one. I should have did this through the whole reading. But next time we can do that. We have the crossroads which means they're at a point in their life where it's time to make a decision which way are they going are they going to continue to walk down this philosophical avenue that they've been on before are they going to go the way that you um are showing them or are they going to take a whole new direction on their own uh here's the information alchemy um alchemy being highlighted here says to me that there's a transformation okay so i'm assuming that they actually went the way that you taught them but this transformation is extremely, um, it's big. I mean, like, it's, it's big. It changes their whole view totally. It's like they're at the top of a tower looking down now. It's like you elevated the fuck out of your friend, okay? And they appreciate you for it. Another thing I'm going to tell you is, is yes, this person is interested in you. But this is not like fling interested, okay? We have the Queen of Cups. This is you, my friends. You are the Queen of Cups. And here is your friend as the Emperor, okay? You make your friend feel like a boss. And not only do you make your friend feel like a boss, but your friend is ready to boss up a little bit, okay? Your emotional, beautiful self is just really capturing them, okay? It's, it's like... God, you see the waters behind her. It's like when they look at you, the emotion just overpours. It's, it's, it's huge. Y'all got extra um, e-cards as well. The dude abides, bring it, and GPS. What do these three cards say? So the first one, the dude abides just says like, you're lucky right now okay it's like the dude has you the, the dude is going to do whatever you want him to do normally the dude represents something mystical or magical but in this one the dude is going to be your friend the emperor okay because emperor is the man okay the man abides in other words the man is going to do whatever you want the man to do okay you have to know this all right bring it I kind of feel like the man is asking you 
to go on and let him know that he can move forward. GPS is saying, tell him where to go. Tell him how to get to you. Uh, group 4 in particular. Your friend may be your divine masculine. Um, although I'm saying your divine masculine, I don't quite subscribe to the idea of twin flames. Um, soulmates, definitely. I mean, I just kind of feel like it has to do with my own personal creation. And I don't believe that everyone is created in pairs. So I can't quite go along with the uh, twin flames all the way. Yet I do believe in it. I do believe that some people are created in twins, in pairs. Everyone is not created in pairs. Everyone does not come from the same um, origin. And we'll just leave it at that. Okay? Um... And I think you may have come up as the Empress, but I think that because you're psychic, um, you're coming up as his Queen of Cups because of your intuitive and psychic abilities, um, your emotional stature, um, your beauty, um, your calmness while causing great emotional display, okay? Um, if you want this friend to be more than a friend is going to be up to you to um, let them know you feel that way the respect level that they have for you is so great though it doesn't matter whatever you say you want that's what they want so do they think of you as more than just a friend yes are they willing to accept you as just a friend or soulmate as a friend? Yes. If you want to be lovers with them, do they want that? Yes. These answers didn't quite turn out the way I thought they would. I thought they would be like straight up yeses or no's. But I should have known better because human emotion is so vast and so complex. Okay. But at least I do feel confident in feeling like I let you in on what's going on between the two of you. Okay. So if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below good and or bad. And this is going to conclude today's reading. I hope everyone enjoyed the reading. I hope everyone enjoyed the music. And um, I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, like I always say, please stay safe. Please wear your mask if you can. If you can get gloves and wear them, please wear them. Please keep your hands washed. Please stay hydrated. It helps your body to fight off all types of germs. And, and like I keep saying to y'all, please continue to fight the power. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for coming out. This concludes our message. Love is love. And let love shine. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. And good night.